for seven o'clock. Then we'll put a second start time right here for 10 a.m. Uh, we're going to show you how to program this SST600 by Rainbird. So this particular timer does not have different programs, but it does customize each station. So some of you folks might find it a lot easier with this timer. So we'll let you be the judge of that. We'll start off by um, programming the setting time. Right now for me, it's 8.05. So right here we have, you see a current time. And I'm gonna, it's already on the PM. So let's go to, go to the 805. All right, got that there. And then we're gonna switch it to the date, set the date. And we're gonna do the year here. It's, it's 22. 519 there we go there we go okay so we got that all correct okay now we'll start our first one so we'll just give you some examples for example say we have grass in the front and we want since it's the summertime we're gonna need the grass to go off every day but that depends on your soil and you know where it's located. It's more of a shady area, but let's just say it's all in a sunny area and we're gonna have it go off every day. Okay, so what we'll do is we can uh, see right here, I have the dates. We can do this first. So we'll have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and Saturday is already on there. Okay, so See the green lights go on. I mean, it's going to go on every day. Uh, we're going to have one time, one start time. Okay, that's already on there. And you see right here, the display, it says start time. Uh, let's just say we want to hit it for uh, 5 a.m. instead of 7. Nope. It's pretty fast. Okay. And then we want it to go off for 10 minutes. So we got the minute sign here. 10 minutes. All right. Okay, so that's all, that's all done. Okay, we're gonna go to uh, zone number two. Okay, example, that's uh, the back grass. Okay. And we want it to do the same thing want to go off for every day, once a, one time a day. Now, on this particular timer, when you want, like say you have the same, the, you know, the zones are gonna be the same, you know, watering days, watering time. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put it at the same time that we did the zone one, the start time, okay? And I'll explain that to you here. So I'll get to that time. Okay, so what's gonna happen is that the zone one will go off at five, and because you put the same time for zone two, once zone time is finished, it'll just kick off to two. Okay, so we're gonna put this for 10 minutes too here. Okay, so just, just don't worry about it being the same time because it's gonna kick off zone one, and then it'll go zone two. And then whatever else you put on the same amount of, you know, whatever else is there at the same day, start time, it's gonna just kick off and go according to the first and whichever is next after that. I'll say for example, we have, okay, so we have front planter, we have a lot of a colored, a colored plants. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna keep it on, it's a sunny area, so we're gonna keep it on uh, every day uh, at one start time. And so that would be extra, sorry. I need to switch that to number three. So that's number three. Zone three is going to be the plant area, sunny area. Same time, uh, start time. I'm going to fix that right now. And we're going to put five o'clock too. 
okay? And then we'll put it for, yeah, same thing. Now, if you have like a, like a mulch, like a mulch on top of that, when you know, then you're gonna, you know, you, you would uh, mulch holes down the, the water longer. So you just need to think about that, but just say there's no, well, say there is a dressing. So you're gonna say, since it keeps down, let's say you would put down for seven minutes. Like I said, a dressing will hold, a mulch cover will hold down the moisture longer. So just seven minutes on that. Okay, so example, so number four, zone four, vegetable garden, okay? And you got um, Desiree's vegetable garden. And so what we're gonna do is, we'll keep it on every day too. Yeah, we'll keep it on the same thing, same start thing, it's the same start time. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so. Five o'clock. And we got some micro sprays in there. This is a drip system. So uh, let's just say 12 minutes. It could be a little less, but we'll just put down 12 minutes. Okay. And then we're good there. Okay, so we'll go number five. And that zone covers the our bank area, for example. What we're gonna do on the bank area, uh, since it's steep, we're gonna uh, have two start times for that, and I'll explain that right now. Also, too, um, we have shower times that start at 5.45, okay? And up till seven o'clock. So we're going to start bank at seven, so we don't have to worry about pressure and volume interfering with the sprinklers from the showering. So, okay, so we're gonna set that up for seven o'clock. And then we're gonna do that for, uh, since we got rotors up there, we're gonna do that 15 minutes. So we're just gonna water, we got, you know, drought resistant plants up there, the ground cover is pretty drought resistant, so we're gonna have that go off on the days, it'll be, we'll take off Sunday, we'll do that. We'll take off, keep Monday on, take off Tuesday, leave Wednesday on, take off Thursday, leave Friday on, and take off Saturday. So that's gonna be three days out of the week. And we got the one start time, Oh, then we need to put a, a, a second start time. So uh, the reason why we do that is because when your banks are you know steep, it's better to water them, break it up, so that way the the soil will ha have time to absorb the water. You know when you're watering it for too long, you'll have runoff. You know to be wasting water. So what you'll do is uh, have the water go on seven and you know what let me let me recorrect myself here so we're just going to have it go for 10 minutes or yeah 10 minutes and then we'll put for seven o'clock then we'll put second start time right here for 10 a.m okay and then we'll make that for Let's just say eight minutes. Okay, so we got the first start time at seven and then the second start time is at um, 10 a.m. Okay, actually, we'll make that for 10 minutes on that first start time. Let me double check that Okay, sir. guess it wants to stay at 10 minutes each time so all right so then we're going to go to zone six and that also is a bank area and we're going to do that again we'll do that at seven because five will go on at seven and then x uh six will set it for 7 a.m too and then it'll go right after the number five okay all right and then we got that going off for, and then as far as time is concerned, it's gonna be eight minutes too. 
And then we'll second time be eight minutes. Okay, that's off. Just want to make sure. Okay, so this. All right. And then we're going to do the days, which will be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Take off the Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. All right. And okay, so we got that all set up. Just want to point it out the, the, you know, when you're considering, you know, you're watering that, you, you know, you want to make sure that all your, that there's nothing going on uh, when you're watering the, your landscape, you know, uh, make sure there's no, you know, the showers, you're working around the showers and there's nothing going on to, to mess with the, uh, the volume and the pressure of the sprinklers. Okay, so we have some other features here. We got where you can actually s start each station manually right here, and that's the water zone, uh, water run zone now. So you can hit that, and uh, your first, you know, zone one can go on. And then you just you can do whatever zone you want. So you can shut it off like this. You know, whatever zone you want, you can just press that, and it'll go on to that area. You also have where you can water, you know, right now I want to water all the zones and you can just go like that. And do this right here, water all zones now. And then you'll just go through the, through the program. And over here you have uh, watering even and odd days. So you can choose that if you want to do that, just uh, instead of like, the this part of it right here the run days you could just put choose, choose the odd and even on that feature right there and then this right here feature right here is uh, cycle watering um, and that is you can go from 1 to 30 days intervals so if you want to water it every 25 days that zone you can do that with that feature Anyway, that's about it there. If you have a question, leave it on a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.